Speaking of UFC 248, one of the more intriguing fights on the preliminary card involves this man, Deron Wynn, going up against Gerald Mearshart. Big fight for him coming off his very first pro loss. And of course, we recall back in October in Boston, unfortunately, he missed weight prior to that fight. So there's a lot at stake here. There he is, Deron Wynn joining us, coming off a big weekend for the Gilroy High School Mustangs with their guy, That's right. Aldade, winning the state championship. Finished seventh, but I understand you guys were hit with a bunch of injuries, so everyone's happy, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, what's up, Ariel, first of all? And, Hello, uh, yeah, it was solid. It was solid, man. But uh, we, uh, yeah, we went to the state tournament without two of uh, our state placers, two top four guys in the state, and that's a lot of points left on the board. So, But other than that, for the most part, we wrestled really tough and uh, wrestled to our capability. So uh, I'm happy, man. And, of course, the head coach uh, for the Gilroy High School Mustangs is the great Daniel Cormier. He's so involved, so dedicated to the team. You're by his side throughout it all. It's really great to see what you guys have done with those kids. And uh, a nice table setter, if you will, for this weekend for you. Massive opportunity, biggest fight card that you've ever fought on. And, as I said, the stakes are big considering what happened in October. So let's talk about October. What happened? Why did you miss weight? Um, I, well, first of all, I'll be honest. Um, I've always been bad at cutting weight my mm. entire life, man. Uh, I've cut weight since I was eight years old, you know, and, uh, it's just always kind of been something that's kind of been my downfall. And, um, I don't know what it was. I think that this new way of cutting weight, uh, cause you know, as a wrestler, we've always been known to like, just not eat or, or, or not drink water, kind of dehydrate yourself, whatever. And now with like water loading and stuff and my first cut went so smooth that I think I got too comfortable. And then I came in a fight week a little bit heavier. Um, and, uh, and then when it, when it came down to it, I was too heavy and, uh, and it just really messed with me mentally. And it, for the most part, a lot of times a, a weight cut comes down to the mental aspect of things. And, uh, you know, it's no excuse. I was unprofessional, man. So, um, uh, I got things under control this time though. And I, I'm really, uh, you know, I, I definitely took a, a big stand in that for this camp. And, uh, I came in a lot, lot lighter this, this camp. I'm actually in Vegas already. I got here last night. So, oh, nice. um, I f yeah, I feel great, man. I actually, I drove back from Bakersfield, uh, to San Jose about three hours yesterday morning. And I packed all my stuff up and I flew into Vegas last night. So uh, I kind of like to get here a little early so I can just kind of relax today. I already ran and relax and I should be getting my first meal here soon and um, uh, get ready to go for the rest of the week. Uh, how much do we weigh on Monday? I'd rather not share. Why? I don't know. I just, uh, I, I don't want... Uh, I don't know. I don't want to make any 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 mistakes over here. You know what I mean. So, All right. uh, but you feel good. Uh, but I'm good. I feel great, man. I, I'm I I shrank my body. Uh, I feel really good. Okay, so then you have that, but then of course you have an opportunity to fight the fight, win the fight, but it didn't go your way. So how did you deal with that? Like when you left Boston, there was some bad blood between you and Darren Stewart, right? When you left Boston, how did you deal with not only missing weight but losing your first pro fight? Um, it was tough because I'm a competitor. Um, when I was out there, it just, it, uh, and this is like, I, I'm not one to make excuses, but it just wasn't me. Um, I, I was thinking all these negative thoughts in my head in between rounds and, 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 and even during the fight. And, uh, and that's just like, you know, I kind of, I made a vlog about it and that one I was talking, I was going to talk to you about, but, uh, it, uh, it, it was tough, man. But, you know, and then you get, you get all these people, it was a split and then, there's a lot of people who said I won and, but it's like, it doesn't matter because obviously I came out with a loss, but at the end of the day, it was good for me. Um, if I would have snuck that one out, maybe I would lose a little bit more focus. I don't know. You know, uh, I'm, I'm competitive and I've, and I've always been a determined guy, but the loss was maybe the best thing that could have happened to me because it it actually this camp I was probably 10 times more professional um with my training and my dedication and my nutrition and you know just small things like running and and getting all the extra workouts in that I was supposed to so um uh it was hard but I'm a competitor at heart so um uh, I I think that I've made the necessary changes to not allow that to happen again but I also do feel like 
the missing weight was a huge, huge emotional drain for me hmm. because as a wrestler, um, if you miss weight, it is a much more kind of um, embarrassing, you know, situation. Hmm. You know, in MMA world, it kind of happens more often. And, and I guess, you know, it's kind of looked down upon, especially with my height and stuff like that. But um, uh, it, it really drained me bad, like emotionally. You know, I was embarrassed uh, because uh, because I know it wasn't a good look. So um, it, it drained me a lot. And, I, you know, I knew I needed to win the fight, but I don't think that I could muster up that energy and that kind of, um, uh, you know, spunk that I needed to to be able to, uh, to get the job done. And, and it really weighed down on me. And I fatigued out there. And I was, you know, I just kind of was flat and, kind of just zombie mode and you know it just uh it, it really wasn't me man so I, I would like to say that was that was you know they say you wouldn't beat me on my worst night and that was my worst night you know so um i'd like to think that i made the changes to make that not happen again coming off all of that now you're you're no longer undefeated do you feel a little different going into this fight do you feel like there's more pressure is this and you know, they're all must win right you always have to win whenever you're a pro fighter but yeah. do you feel like there's different stakes you're more nervous more pressure how are you reacting to all this not necessarily more pressure um but it's definitely higher stakes you know um when you come off you're undefeated and i get a fight of the night and uh you know um you know kind of a little hype around my name um it's a lot easier to go into a fight not worried about things but now you got to worry about you know my contract's about up I lose again what's the UFC gonna think I you know all that stuff but um I think about those things a lot uh during training and it helps motivate me and it helps um uh get me through the nerves or or the pressure you know what I mean so um I'm I'm okay I'm in a really good place in my mind and my body so uh you know I this dude's been trying to like kind of get at me and oh. uh it's it just i'm not concerned with this dude and it's just like i say with any other um any other opponent like a guy like him i mean he's one in three in his last fights so if i don't beat this dude then maybe this ain't for me you know but um i uh i feel uh i feel very confident that uh i'm gonna do what it takes to get the job done in a, in, in a lot of ways, you know? So, um, I still have a lot of learning and growing to do as a, as a mixed martial artist, but, um, uh, I've definitely made jumps and I feel like I make jumps every camp. And, uh, uh, there's a lot of things that, um, I think I'm going to be able to showcase on Saturday night that a lot of people didn't know I had in me. Wait, so are you saying there's a possibility if you lose this fight, you're going to retire? No, 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 no. Like, I'm talking about, I mean, shit, there's like 600 people on the roster, right? People are trying to get signed every day. It, maybe if I don't pin out, I mean, what? I mean, maybe I get that snip, you know? I've seen a lot of dudes get get uh, get snipped after uh, their second straight loss, you know? Okay. Um, I, I'd like to think that I, I'd be a little different, you know? And then and then what? Then what do you do? Then you got to start, you know, it, there's a lot of a lot of variables that come into it if, you lo if I lose. Okay. Now, and, uh, you mentioned Gerald's trying to get at you. What do you mean by that? I don't know. Just like saying corny ass shit online, like like, oh. like Instagram and Twitter and trying to like trying to get a rise out of me. But he's commenting I mean, on your all... posts. Is no, he... he's just like making posts about me and shit, oh. like tagging me and shit. Ah. But it's like that's all that's all fun and games till we fight Saturday night, bro. You know, like these people laughing and these Twitter, these Twitter trolls and all that shit that, that that's like hyping you up and making you feel better about yourself. That's all fun and games until we actually get into the cage on Saturday night and I'm smashing your face in. You know what I mean? So so you you can laugh and, and make all those jokes until you're getting smashed, you know? So it's cool. I'm I'm cool with it. I'm I'm far from stressed from this dude. Hey, correct me if I'm wrong. Are, are you and Darren cool now? You and Darren Stewart? Because I saw him like post things on your Instagram encouraging you. Yeah, no, I mean, he's a good dude, man. Uh, I actually like him. It's just, as, like I said, as a competitor, it's very uh, tough pill for me to swallow. I actually had to tell him, like, bro, I can't pretend that I'm like your homie now. It's just not the move, bro. Like, I see, <laughs> I understand, I understand good sportsmanship, and, uh, and, and I'm all for it, especially coming from a wrestling background, but 
you can't sit here as a man and a, you know and a competitor um with the pride like sit here and be like yeah me and darren are cool now ha 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 jokes fun you know i think i commented some he like put a highlight video on his instagram and at the, it was all cool, and then the very end, it was like him hitting me. You know what I mean? I was like, yeah, that shit was cool to the very end. Ha-ha, yeah. you know? Yeah. But um, there, there's also, like, I don't want to, like, like there's, there's, like, a set of, like, middleweights or something. And I don't know. I, I know there's, like, Instagram groups where you guys all promise to, like, comment on, on each other's stuff, right? And it's just kind of like a bond you have. I know that's, like, a lot of different groups do that. And there's, like, a group of dudes, like, who do that. And I, and I, it, for the life of me, I can't understand it. And so I actually had to tell Darren and I like him and I, I wish him the best of luck. And I want the rematch. I, I would love to be able to find my way back to him. Um, but, uh, I can't sit here and be like, yeah, bro, sick workout. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know, that shit's, <laughs> that shit's corny to me, bro. Yeah. You know? I see where and you're so, and I don't, coming from. I, I don't get why they do it. So I, I um, I uh I had to kind of like back away from that of 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 us trying of us like looking like homies now you know because I feel like I look like kind of a bitch if I'm like cool with the dude now yeah you know I mean like dog you just whooped my ass on ESPN bro like <laughs> nah this ain't we ain't cool G <laughs> I get I get that by the way uh, DC is calling the fight on Saturday D- does that annoy you like would you For the second time I know second time no, I'm gonna let him do it I know what's up with this dude Ariel <laughs> I, uh, you know like I. I said something to him like a week ago or a couple weeks ago. And I was like, are you calling the fight? And he was like, yeah, but, uh, you know, I, era, you know, DC. And he was like, he was like, yeah, but I mean, if you want me to back out and, and corner you or something, just let me know. You know, I was like, yeah, all right. That'll happen. You know what I mean? Like that'll never happen, bro. But wouldn't that be so great I, to I have him in I your corner, right? It would. But, um, that's also though, you know, we have to, me and DC have to skate the fine line of, um, me just being all DC hype. You know what I mean? Like, I can't just be, like, riding his coattails all the time. Like, I have to be my own guy. Like, that's okay. People call me mini DC and shit like that. I, I, I probably am never going to get away from that. But I can't be, like, it can't be, like, and he has DC in his corner. You know what I mean? Like, it's, like, yep. I, I, it, I have to have my own entity, bro. And and that's the only way I'm going to be able to get to where I, I essentially want to be. So, um, that's my boy, man. And Arrow, you of all people know that we are so much, me and him are so much more than just this fighting. Like, dude, that's my brother, bro. So, um, you know, in day-to-day life. So, um, uh, but I have to kind of, we kind of have to separate, uh, where we're at with that because it's just, uh, I think it's a smarter move, but you know, I can't take this dude's money away from him. They, and the UFC loves him and he's been busy with wrestling and stuff like that. So, I'm gonna let him call the fights. At least he's gonna be here. You know, he's gonna be here in a couple of days, and he's gonna help with the cut and stuff like that. So, um, that's all positives. So uh, I, I'm okay with it. At first, I thought it was gonna be kind of weird, and and even if you could listen to the last fight, you can tell in certain points. You know, he's the best at being professional, mm. and at certain points, you could tell that he, he was kind of silent and kind of like, "Bro, what is he doing?" You know what I mean? So. Uh, you know that's that. I know that's tough for him, but um, like I said, it, 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 I find it very hard to believe that this fight's gonna go like my last one. Um, I'm very confident that it won't. So um, I think it'll be a a different turnout. By the way, what's going on with you and Tai Tuivasa? Is there a bit of a rivalry brewing there? Is I mean, it's so fascinating that he's no. at the gym and after Justin Willis yeah. and everything, and now you're going. What are you doing? Are you doing this for Justin? What's happening here? No, no, this is my, this is all fun and games, bro. Okay. I like Ty. He's a good ass dude. And he was kind of one of the pe- persons that like, as soon as he came to the gym, we clicked, okay. you know, like from the first like 10 minutes I met him, we were laughing. So no, that's my boy, man. That's the, I like Ty. He fits in so good at the gym. That's all fun and games, bro. We're just all, and you know, we all just talk shit to each other at the gym and it, it's all fun. Ty's cool, man. And he's going to be here for the fight too. So, uh, he, he fits in well, you know, uh, the big pretty thing, um, that's between them. And, you know, I, I don't want to come on here and, like, sh- you know, slander uh, big pretty. But, it, you know, he was uh, – Ty has already kind of formed this family vibe with us. And um, that's kind of never what big pretty was. So um, it's just a different – maybe he, he fits in – you know, maybe maybe Justin fits in better at a different gym and Ty fits in better here. I don't know. 
But, um, uh, you know, I was never really close with Justin either. So, uh, it, it, you know, it's hard for me to get emotionally attached to something I'm, I'm not really invested in. So, uh, I like Ty as for now, that's my dude. So, um, All right. uh, and I hope, I hope he sticks around and I think he's, I think he said something about like maybe, you know, staying here. I know he's working on his grappling and his wrestling, but now he's just a fun dude to be around. Must be amazing to get ready for a fight of this magnitude for you. And then all of a sudden you get this uh, Dagestani invasion, right? You get Khabib and Makhachev and all these guys. And I saw that you mentioned yeah. Makhachev, best grappler you've ever rolled with, with all the guys, DC, all these guys. How could you say such a thing? I saw, who did, uh, was it Crutchmer who said in the, in the comments, what about me? Well, can I yeah, get some yeah. love? What's going on? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so Islam, bro, what people don't understand, um, you know, he's kind of like hiding in, in Habib's shadow a little bit, right? Uh, but, dude, he is a monster. Like, when he shows up to AKA, like, when he they showed up, like, two weeks ago, he was pushing almost 190 pounds, like, straight monster. And then, so they've been doing sambo and grappling their entire life. I'm talking about all-around grappling. Right. We always feud about us wrestling and stuff like that. And and if he can beat me in wrestling, like on our feet, you know, takedowns. Um, but on the mat rolling, I think pound for pound. And I've rolled with a lot of black belts. And, you know, I, I probably I haven't rolled with I don't think I've ever rolled with like a black belt world champion. But Islam is very, very impressive. And I've watched him roll against a lot of very, very impressive guys. And I he's uh, he, he's uh, he's as good as it gets, I think, man. All right. Well, I'm looking forward to this, Duran. Good luck to you. Good luck this week as far as everything Thanks, going down in Vegas, the weight cut and all that stuff. And, of course, good luck on Saturday. Big fight for you. I, uh, I, I look forward to being there in person. I can't wait. Yeah, when you get here, Ariel. I get when there, get there uh, Thursday. So that's when the action really you know, pops off, as the kids like to say. Yeah, I feel you. Big guy. All right. Talk to you later, Duran. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right. See you, see you buddy. Hello, everyone. It's Ariel Hawani. I just came here to thank you for watching our ESPN YouTube channel. It's the best. You know what else is the best? The ESPN app. You can get highlights, analysis, all that stuff and more. And if you want premium content and live streaming sports, there's only one place for all of that. It's ESPN+. Plus.